Awesome. This is great. How's it going? I'm Keith Lesner with Travel Light RV. I'm the National Sales Manager. Just want to sit down and cover the Rove Light with you a little bit, give you some details on construction, quality, fit finish, how we build some of the stuff it has as far as features, um, maybe some of the floor plans, and then we'll go over the all-electric model. Cool. Sounds great. Let's knock it yeah. out. All right. Check them out. All right, cool. So let's start up here in the front. First thing we do is uh, our focus really at Travel Light is about weight. So we're trying to fill that, that little niche where people that don't have a lot of stuff they can tow. Um, you know, formerly they were pop-up buyers or little teardrop buyers, but we wanted to give them something they could actually stand up and live in full functionality with bathroom, kitchen. Um, you know, our stuff has tankless on-demand water heater. Uh, you actually oh, have wow. a wet bath in it. Um, but exterior features, we start with an aluminum frame. So we have an aluminum, all aluminum frame. We have no wood in the, in the structure at all. So there's no wood in the floor, ceiling, or sidewalls of this unit. The floor is actually a honeycomb composite material. The walls are as on the inside, two pound fire retardant foam in between. And then the exterior is, um, is a gel coat fiberglass. And we actually two part epoxy that together and then vacuum bond it. So it's not a water based glue. Our goal was really the, the biggest enemy of an RV is water. So we wanted to make sure that our structure didn't have anything that could be damaged by water. That's all we want with that. Everything in the construction displaces water. So yeah. you're not going to have D-Lam, mold, mildew, all that typical stuff. That's a big problem. It's a huge problem. We went with a one-piece fiberglass wraparound roof. This is a 24-foot roof on this model. It starts down here, wets all the way around with no seams except for the sides and where we put you know, your fan or your vent stacks or any of that type of thing. Um, safety was also a concern. So the GVWR on this is 2,500 pounds. The dry weight's right around, I think on this model is 1,860. I'm just guessing. I'd have to look at the exact because we weigh them all individually and I can't remember every one we ever built. Um, it'd be good if I could. Um, we have um, the electric brakes, and the reason I bring that up is sway is a big deal with consumers. So what we did is we put in a Tucson electronic sway controller in it. Um, what that does, it has a yaw sensor in the very back. So as that trailer, if it starts to sway, it'll apply the brakes independently of each other to bring that back to center. So we really wow. wanted to have lightweight safety in mind because we know that people are going to be towing this with a smaller vehicle, Subarus, Jeeps. Uh, minivans, that type of thing. So as you're coming down the highway and you're passing a semi and yep. it starts to wobble on you, yep. it's going to correct itself. It's going to correct itself, yes. Yeah. So you don't have awesome. to have all the mechanical sway control and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, you don't need weight distribution hitch. You can't put a weight distribution hitch on the aluminum frame. Um, they don't make a weight distribution hitch, I believe, under 400 pounds. This is only 210 pounds of tongue weight. So oh, wow. we made them a little heavier in the nose just because we wanted to reduce that sway. You know, if they're too much weight behind the axle, that'll create more sways. Yeah. So we made a little bit heavier on the tongue weight just to compensate that. So, I mean, Very if you nice. needed to sit, you know, if your car was only capable of 200 pounds, you could load a few things behind the axle to balance that out. Yeah. So we really wanted to make sure we did that. Um, I mentioned already tankless on-demand water heater. Um, the new models coming out now all have a 200 watt solar panel on them and an MPPT controller in them. So you can add to that system and not have to make a lot of changes. Nice. We don't currently, besides our EV model, which we'll get to, we don't supply the battery. So that's really up to the consumer and the dealer to figure out what batteries they want. But we do give you a spot for two. And you, this is it up here? Yep, right here. You'd put you your, mount your batteries. Yeah, you mount your batteries right here. Awesome. Yep. There's on the other side, I don't know if we'll be able to get to it on this one. It might be easier to show you on that uh, Rove SUR toy hauler. Um, there's a little indicator light, and I can show you where that Tucson light is so you can see oh, great. that. And it's got a little sticker indicating it right by the, right by the door. For so this one I wanted to point out, too, is everybody thinks if I've got a family in a minivan, there's nothing I can really tow. Well, this is a bunkhouse model, so this will sleep four people. A bunkhouse. Which is pretty rare. So if you yeah. step inside, you can see that the dinette will drop down to a bed. And then on the back wall, you're going to see the bunks. That The top bunk is rated for um, 150 pounds. The bottom bunk is actually converts to a couch, and it'll slide the, so that'll slide out. You lay the two cushions down as you're looking at it, and that'll make the bed. And then the top is made as a bunk right now. What a cool setup. I don't know if I've seen that yet in something this small. I right. really, really like that. And most of our, most of the competitors to us in this weight category don't have a bathroom in them at all. And they don't, and some of them, the kitchens are even on the outside. And we didn't want yeah. to do that because, you know, it does rain. Right. Yeah. So you do have a wet bath right there on your right hand side. And that's got the, your toilet, shower, all in one. Interior walls, again, are Asdell, so you don't have to worry about them getting wet. That finish on there that wood finish is not actually paper it's printed on the asdell itself it's part of it so you don't have to worry about it peeling off if it gets wet or any of that stuff so you guys have really thought out a lot of the major problems that people have had in the past with rvs and really really laid this thing out because of that it sounds like 
that's absolutely our goal was to give somebody an option, right? Give them an option and then have something that they can spend their money on an RV and realize that it's going to be around for a while. Yeah. I mean, most people, when they, you see their RVs and they're, they're, you know, they have damage just because water infiltrated it and that deteriorates the walls, you'll see delamination and things like that. So, yeah, we see it all the time, yeah. all over in the RV parks. Yeah. We've got a 5,000 BTU um, window style air conditioner. Um, that's, you know, easy to replace if something happens to it. There's a fiberglass drip pan around it completely around it so if, as the air conditioner drips it'll run out the side it overlaps the outside wall so it'll drip to the outside of the unit very nice as they all do i'm sure it keeps it nice and cool inside of there this is a cool setup yeah power awning we give you all the features real easy to use stabilizer jacks we do offer the off-road package and there's also a non-off-road package there's are a couple over here um we can walk over to the ev and check that out if you want yeah so the biggest difference is the floor plan on the EV. It's a 14 FL EV electric vehicle. It is fully electric. There's no LP on this at all. Um, it uses a fireplace, electric fireplace for heat. It uses the same 5,000 BTU uh, wall mount. It uses an induction cooktop stove and an on-demand electric water heater under the sink to get you all your all the, the basic necessities of camping, right? It also yeah. has a wet bath with a shower, toilet. But the difference on this one is it has 400 watts of solar on it on the roof it has a 400 amp hour lithium battery a 3000 watt generator um inverter i'm sorry not generator inverter and it has um two charge controllers and it also comes with a, a, a 300 watt uh, portable solar blanket so you fold that out you get 700 watts of charge there's an energy management unit on it as well that you can set to your liking and prioritize what you use the most or what you find more important um, and as it gets up to its max use it'll actually flip Let's say you have the heat on and you decide you're going to cook. If it's too much wattage being used because you're using two burners and someone's blow drying their hair or whatever it happens to be, you can, um, it'll actually automatically turn off the fireplace when you turn on the cooktop. Oh, so wow. So to make sure you're not going over, you're not popping, you know, breakers and yeah. overloading your system. Built-in fail-safe, that's awesome. Correct. And you can use all your outlets. You can use your air conditioner. This unit right here is not plugged in and you can turn on your AC, you can turn on your fireplace, you can you can do it all. That whole system's encompassed underneath that that uh, couch. Um, you can, I don't know if you wanna see the battery here. Yeah, here's the battery. So your battery's on the side there, that's a 400 amp hour lithium battery. It's a Renogy system, that's what we decided to go with. We uh, tried another system, it didn't quite work out, so we switched over to the Renogy. The Renogy, you can actually, um, you can actually pair your phone to the battery with Bluetooth, so you can monitor the charging and all that as well. As, so if you can do that from a distance where there is actually a monitoring panel inside as well, it'll actually tell you as you're using stuff, how much you're gaining or losing in wattage or amps. Wow, so you can pay attention awesome. what you're doing to make sure you're not over draining your system or you know where you're at if you're gonna be boondocking that type so of thing. Keith was telling me they have a toy hauler version of these and here we are. Tell us all about this. So this is the Rove SUR. So this has the same construction as our Rove Lite, where it doesn't have any, any um, any wood in the floor, ceiling, or sidewalls. We covered that already as far as the mold, mildew, decay, that type of thing. The difference is the floor is not a honeycomb composite in this one. We went with a, uh, a composite plywood because we wanted to have some screw retention. People can run their um, you know, tie downs, uh, chocks, that type of thing by going through the floor and the honeycomb doesn't allow that. Um, but the, the, the dry weight on this one is 3,684 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating on it is 7,000 pounds. This unit has a 12 foot eight garage. It'll fit a four seat razor in the back. Wow. So there's really nothing wow. like that in the, in the industry at this point. That's why we went with it. Um, we kind of saw a hole in the market, right? Like people had to have, I mean, I think your, your next closest toy hauler in this length is going to weigh somewhere around, I think at the lightest, probably 6,000 pounds, more likely seven to 7,500 pounds before you put your toys in it. Yeah. So now you're, you're getting a half ton pickup or probably a three quarter ton pickup, depending on what you're going to put in it, right? Yeah. So that's kind of why we went with it. Um, the cabinetry inside is all aluminum. So we want aluminum cabinetry, aluminum countertops. It's actually a company, uh, Challenger Designs, that makes them for us. And um, they do outside kitchens. So we figured if they last inside or outside, they can last inside. Uh, the whole goal was that people with toys usually tend to get them muddy, bring them in and that type of stuff. So you could literally pitch this thing up and hose the back end out and let it dry. There's no wood in there to get that besides your cabinetry. Awesome. There's a couple, the door, I think in this unit, the only wood is the door and that little piece that holds the bed from sliding out. So as long as you tip it up and shoot the back end out with the water, just let it run. It won't, won't hurt at all. Wow. Yeah, check it out. Check Very it out. Very cool. Yeah, tie downs are in it. Dual system. This also has a Tucson Sway control built in. Um, 
to, to eliminate the sway. Power awning, I mean, it's rear screen, the bed drops down in the back. It's got a bed down there that turns into a U-shaped dinette as well. So you can use it as a bed or a U-shaped dinette. Patio, the rear patio. Again, this one has a one-piece fiberglass roof as well, so it starts down there. I don't know the footage on this one, but that yeah. one starts at the corner and goes all the way up over the top. All right, so walking in, you'll see you've got your fold-out steps. Um, as you come in, you'll notice that all the all the full, all the uh, walls and ceiling are Asdell. As we talked about a little earlier, it's all aluminum caged, so you have again no wood floor, ceiling, or side walls. The cabinets, aluminum, aluminum countertops, ten cubic foot fridge. Um, these doors actually, I'm gonna sneak by you here, but these doors actually latch so your stuff won't fall out. They lock so your stuff doesn't come flying out of there. Your rear here, this is your, uh, your bed. They have it set up a little goofy, but these cushions would go back here. You lower it down, this is your seating for eating. And then you can fold this, put the table up here, and then put these cushions on top. That also makes for a bed. And then it'll lower down so you can put your table there and eat with it, or you can get it up out of the way, take that bar out, lay it down, pull it all the way to the ceiling so you can get your toys in. Rear screen with a rear patio. These are just blackout curtains. There's windows here. Just for privacy. Helmet rack, this is your closet storage here. Your hanging storage is right there, and that's your MPPT controller. Deep storage like mm -hmm. that. All right, so here we are. This is the new uh, Travelite Scent truck camper. Um, this one's under a thousand pounds, and this will fit uh, small size pickups. So, Canyon, Colorado, Tacoma, Maverick. Gladiator will all fit in this. And with that, that low weight, a lot of those trucks have smaller, lower payloads, 1,200 pounds, 1,300 pounds, right in that range. So it'll give people not only the weight that, to get in their truck, but also that, the weight that they can actually carry something as well. You do have furnace, you do have AC, you do have a 13 gallon fresh tank on it. Um, you do have a tankless on-demand water heater for those times when you are on a, a site. Um, that is actually, a that bed kind of pulls out and then there's a door they didn't close there that just to make it, just for aesthetics, that door will close shut. But that'll really push nice. in and it'll sit up so you can use it as a bench as well. Very nice. Again, the construction on this one is um, no wood in the floor, ceiling or sidewalls. The floor is a honeycomb composite. The sidewalls are um, uh, Jelco, Jelco fiberglass on the outside, Asdell on the inside with two pound fire retardant foam between them. Are these one piece as well? This one's not a one piece. And the reason not. we didn't do one piece is that we couldn't make that radius on the front and we oh, also okay. wanted to put another structural support in there. Oh. So when we put the structural support, because this is going to be sticking up over the top of your truck, the wind, we wanted to make sure we had enough strength for you there. That makes sense. And show price only $18,900? That is not bad. $18,999 on this one. Then we brought out the, the Atom. So all the Travel Light truck campers, you guys are the right show. This is the first show they've been at. All the Travel Light truck campers have been redesigned. They used to be um, a Banac and a natural wood structure, and we went away from that. We went to the aluminum structure, so aluminum, and again, the, the laminated sidewalls with the, the Asdell and the fiberglass and two pound fire retardant foam and everything. So we were able to lighten them up. This is the Atom. This is kind of just like the scent. The difference is that we have a, a bunk, a cab over bunk in it as well so you can sleep three in here this one weighs 1270 pounds so this one again will fit those smaller pickups um the the colorado the canyon the maverick i think the maverick has a payload capacity depending on which configuration you have of 2,000 pounds so you can pop that right in nice again you still have ac you still have heat you still have you know your your water heater you still have your converter, it's, I mean, it's everything you need to be self-contained. And you don't need a big one-ton monster truck to... Correct. Now, you could put this in a one-ton, you yeah. can get it in there. You might have to shim it up a little to clear the cab, but you can you can shim it right. to fit it in a bigger one if that's what you want to do. Um, but you don't have to. Correct. For truck camper people, they'll know that we have our tie-downs here, but we made a little bit of a change because getting all that tie-down stuff is um, sometimes challenging for your vehicle. So we actually added down here an aircraft track. So you can get the tie downs. We don't have them with the units, but you can get the 
aircraft track's pretty standard. You just pop it in there, slide it over, and then you can use straps to tie it to the four corner tie downs in your truck itself. So we wanted to give people an option to do that yeah, as well. A little more versatility. Cool. So this is the Upcountry. So the Upcountry is another redesign of the truck camper. This is gonna replace the Super Light series and the Extended Stay series of our old product lineup. Again, this is gonna be built the same way with the honeycomb composite floor, the laminated, laminated sidewalls, aluminum structure versus the wood structure that we used to use. So these are all Sika flexed and then screwed together and then one and a half inch butyl in the corners in order to keep that sealed. If you did have an event where water did get into, into it, um, you don't have to worry about the structure decaying or rotting. The, the bed itself up there, the, the, the deck under the bed, is actually made of that honeycomb composite with the aluminum frame around it as well. So we're able to knock the weight out of this one. This is uh, the 650 model that we're in right now. This one would be great for somebody with a six foot bed, even a five and a half foot bed, you could put this on half ton pickup or up. Um, and you, with, a six, with a five and a half foot bed, you just have to leave the tailgate on and leave it open for support. In an eight foot bed, you could actually close the tailgate with this one. Nice. And in a six and three quarter bed, you're going to be close. It's going to depend on your manufacturer of truck, whether you can close that bed, that uh, tailgate on it or not, which makes it easier for you to tow a trailer. All right, so this is the 775 Upcountry. We covered the 650 a second ago. This is the 775. This one does give you a wet bath. So like our old model 770, we had a wet bath in it, but you really couldn't close that door when you're in there. Some of you guys that have seen that 770 and looked at it previously know we did listen to you and we did make that change. So when you open up that, that uh, door for that bathroom, which we're going to lose you in just a second, um, open up that door for the bathroom, you'll see that we put that in there sideways so that you can sit down and close the door this time. We did give you, a, give you a vent fan in there. You do have tankless on-demand water heater on these. This one does actually have a separate gray and black tank in it. Oh, wow. Oh, one, and you have the built-in external gate valves. I love that. Yep, That's external, great. Yeah, absolutely. And then we actually um, made the jacks removable, too, for those people who are conscious, really conscious about their weight. If you are close on your payload, if you take off the power jacks, you'll save 140 pounds. They're 35 pounds a piece. Oh, wow. So um, I'll show you in a second when she gets out of about that. So we made it so that when, once this is off, you literally just take this pin out and this jack will slide right out. You unplug it, leave it at home. Save yourself 140 pounds of payload. All right.